What is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Mother 3. In the last episode, we started off Chapter 3 with our boy Salsa over here, and we're back in Tazmeli. We were in the desert with some jerk ass face, what not, whatchamacallit, uh, facade, and he's trying to scam the people of Tazmeli or something like that. I don't know exactly what his plan is. I don't know why him and the pork army want to get to Tazmeli specifically. All I just know is that wherever they want to know, or whatever they think is in Tazmeli, they're doing everything that they can to, well, try to find it. What do we have over here? You've arrived at Osuhe Castle? Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. Ah, what do we have here? What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it? You only saw him? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp? I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and kind of looks like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Yeah, okay. I leave it in your hands. Stay alert. The money! I knew it! You took Butch's money! You set me up! God damn it! God damn you! Oh, come on! I can't go down there? Really? Did you think? Ow. You could run away from me. I just wanted to see Lucas. That's why. You're such a stupid monkey. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to the room and sleep. Jeez, alright, alright. Don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh! I ain't, I ain't laughing at you. Do as I say! God damn it, what is... Prick of the sentry over here. <laughs> Who told you to dance? Alright, alright, alright. I'll, I'll do it just so Salsa actually fucking survives. Yeah, I'll laugh. But you know, if you were going to run away, I'm sure there are more intelligent ways you could have done it. Like trying to disguise yourself or trying to walk without making us any sound. But I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. <laughs> oh man. That's Salsa's girlfriend. Come on, G. Come on. <laughs> Everything's just starting to become a blur at this point in time. God damn you, pork motherfuckers. What did the monkey do to you? What did the monkey actually do to you? He did nothing. God damn it. Ah, uh, poor salsa. Ow! What a great way to wake up in the morning. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job, and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Jeez. Man. Well, life is just hard when you're a monkey. There's no, there's no other way of saying that. Uh, is this supposed to be where, where everyone is in panic about Butch or whatnot? 
No, it's facade. Come, gather around. Come, one and all, fair denizens of Tasmili. Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. Blue skies, white clouds, and a load of allergies. Holy shit. I constantly have to keep pausing <laughs> recording here because my allergies are just flaring up right now. Bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing. Monkey. A tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. What are you trying to say? Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in our forests. And giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all. Not by a long shot. The word on the wind says that in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down on us almost daily. I smell cap. That is, I could barely smell anything when my congestion. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real! Something like that would never happen! But I truly believe this will soon be a reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? I guess. But I have good news for you! Today is your lucky day! Oh, oh! You can attain happiness very easily. Yes, for $5.99, you can buy this bullshit product that I'm marketing to you. Oh, just look here. Even my cute, adorable salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey has gotten a head start on attaining happiness. Has he, though? How exactly did little Salsa here manage to find happiness? Dude, everyone just walked away, like come on. All those who are interested, please raise your hand boisterously. Who wants to be happy? One, two, three, four. Okay, little Salsa. Go and ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Keep your hands raised, folks. Uh, sure, what about you? Uh, uh, I'm Biff. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I could get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. Right, you. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abbott. There's nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is that easy to be happy. My name is Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff, it somehow makes me happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Alright, any other takers? Any other takers? Come on, Reggie, do you not want to raise your hand? No? Everyone! If even just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide that... You you do want happiness after all. Feel free to let me know anytime. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Dude, what a terrible show. All, all I just hear was a bunch of bullshit, if you ask me. Now then, come along, little salsa. Let us return to the Yado Inn. God, this show was so bad that it that it flared up my allergies so much. 
So just nothing but BS. Yeah, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle? Why can't you just kick them out? What? What? You can't because they're too tough? Alright. I'll be right over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. He has to be talking about the pig troops that were in Osuhei Castle and from the chapter before, right? There's no way he was talking about either Nippolite or Kumatora. I doubt they were being cahoots. No, this asshole was working with these pig motherfuckers, so they're probably called him. Alright, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Biff, Isaac. Those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. And when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. You'll come straight back to this room. If you can't do it in under 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than charred if that happens. If you try to run from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? No. Fuck. And get to it already. If you can finish delivering them in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart. Because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. So be grateful. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Why do I have to deal with this guy? Come on now. Alright, I'm assuming that the 22 minutes was actually a thing that needs to happen. Whoa, hold on there, monkey. Don't touch the goods. What? I can't touch the goods? Come on, Thomas. Happiness, huh? For some reason, I'm not quite sure what that word means. I can't even touch the goods. Man, what a ripoff. Now, I'm supposed to find all of them. Hold on there, little monkey. There are dangerous tools everywhere. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? But I'm just curious as to see what the people in Tasmania over here are like when I'm Salsa. Not Duster, not Flint, not anyone else, but me. Little Salsa. <gasps> There's Flint! I see Flint! Flint! No, Lucas? Lucas? Lucas! He's not here. You have such a sad look, Mr. Monkey. Monkey. Flint! A box? Sorry, little monkey. Could you come back some other time? Aw, oh, come on! My boy Flint! <laughs> Are you not gonna help this little monkey? If I can deliver- If I can get everyone deliver it in under 22 minutes, I should be fine. Hmm. I have a special scary story. Want to hear it? Sure. The truth is, for a long time, I've been taking nuts I find in the forest and then hiding them in this house. But when I went to check on them the other day, they had all been made into bread! Damn, that's quite scary. Huh? You don't seem very scared. I mean, nut bread, you know? Well, if I can't get the goods from Thomas, at the very least, I want to try finding out if I can get something from over here, Old Man West. Yes, sir. I can't carry any more stuff. What do you mean? Oh. Thunderbomb. Thank you very much, Old Man West. Do you have anything to say to me? No? Nothing? Nothing? Nada? Are you guys not even here? Oh, you guys must still be in Oso, hey? God damn it. I just wanted to look at Osohei. Whatever. I said they're in the cemetery, right? The four happy boxes are in the cemetery? There we go. What's up, my G? You need something from the map loving map owning Mapson? It must be a map, yes? Oh, you're a monkey! But you have a map. For some reason, I'm just itching the market. Let me see that for a second. Thank you very much, Mapson. Thank you very much. 
Your work is very much appreciated. All right, who do we have over here? Got a happy box. Oh, that sounds awful. Well, who am I supposed to give this to? Is there like a name or something? Yo, what the fuck? Why do I have to? <laughs> really? I can't run with this thing at all. Ah, fuck it. I just have to walk all the way to whoever, whoever was the poor soul who decided that they wanted happiness. The problem that I'm encountering right now is that I don't know where the fuck some of these guys are. I don't know where Abbott and Abby are. The only person who I know is Isaac. And it's telling me they're right over here, so... I just gotta look harder, I, I guess. Ah, there you are, my G. Oh, wow! So this is a happy box. <laughs> this is great! A happy box! Thanks, monkey! Alright, you're gonna tell me what was in that happy box? Oh, you ordered one too, Abbott. I guess we don't need two, do we? I'll cancel my order then. Sorry to bother you. Oh, that that's Pog right there! Don't know why, but the fact that you can be happy as long as you have this makes me happy. <laughs> I set it up there to see how it looks. I love how nice and pink it is. What is that? It's a happy box. You're not really sure what to make of. It just looks like a pink a, a pink computer monitor. Or am I going to go to online to the porkforms.net or some shit like that? At the very least, I don't have to give another one to Abby. I could just go straight to both Isaac and Biff. Ah, uh, poor, poor Salsa. Even the game knows that he's suffering. Oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. Well, glad to see you're at least happy. One more to go. It's a pink computer monitor, I tell you. Alright, last happy box. And this goes... Straight to Isaac, which looks like he's the farthest from here. Alright, Salsa. Just gotta endure it a little bit more longer. Alright, Isaac. Here's your happy box. Oh, is this it? What is it? Will this thing really bring me happiness? Come on, Isaac. Please tell me you can see through this bullshit. Yay, I finished delivering happy bucks to everyone who wanted one. Really? You're not you're not gonna say anything about it. Not at all. Good work. That must have been heavy. Give my thanks to Mr. Facade for his generous gift. I really appreciate it. I'm telling you, it's just a pink computer monitor. Actually, I guess you could technically consider it like also a pink television and whatnot. Whatever, but I, I bet you it has to do something with those pork rind motherfuckers. They, they look like they're itching to do something. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're gonna want to try to brainwash the people of Tazmeli. I don't know. They're gonna put like some weird hippie psychedelic thing on their screen and they're gonna be like, You will listen to these pork rind motherfuckers! Oh, or some shit like that. Alright, facade. Drop your facade. I'm here. Wow, you just ate that banana in front of me. 25 minutes. There, there, there's no shot. It's not 25 minutes. Are you you're joking me here? I've been recording for about 28 minutes, and I and I can tell you, th we did not start at three minutes. I was planning to give you a special banana if you had them deliver it all in under three minutes. But I guess you don't really want one. You insolent little monkey, dude! What an actual dude! Holy shit, there is no shot you're telling me that I did this in 25 minutes. How long are you going to say unconscious? Fuck off, honestly. Now you want to go to Osohe, huh? Well, what? Are you, are you going to help out your, your pork rind your pork rind friends over there? What's wrong with you? You know, what is actually wrong with you? Why do you want to help these people out so much? What do these pig guys have that you don't have? Let me guess, is it money? 
Is that all you just want? You want money? Because that's the kind of person you look like to me. Nepalite. Don't know who you are, but you'd best be careful if you're going inside that castle. Some guys dressed like pigs went in and are up to no good. Change vehicle is sitting here. Alright, it's the same thing that I've been already told. Ah, uh, What now? Yep. What's going on? Did you find it? What? You still haven't found it? Just who are these other intruders? An old man and a guy with a gloomy feel about him? Wait! You mean him? The guy with brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and kind of looks like a bum? So where are they now? Aw, oh, don't... Come on, my, my boy Duster deserves more. What? They're headed to, for the top floor? You fools! Whatever you do, do not let them get there first. <laughs> okay. What now? Are you gonna tell me that I have to go after them as well? Bah! A dead end. Alright, monkey. Let's look elsewhere. I don't have the rope snake with me, so... Anyways, as mentioned before, it looks like I cannot get up there through regular means. What? Yeah? What? They flood into the basement? They have it with them? All right, got it. Hey, monkey, we're heading to the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside this castle. Find it. I have an idea of exactly where you're talking about. And to be honest, it was the first. It was the first other location that I would have thought how we could how we could get to Duster and the gang. All right, I'm going to assume this is where I needed to go. And assume this is the basement. All right, we go through here. Hey, stupid monkey, do something to open it. What the fuck do you want me to do? I, I, uh. Okay, maybe that's not it. Yeah, maybe that wasn't it. Don't be an eyesore, dude. Come on, I'm trying. It's not like I'm actually throwing here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can really do over here. Dude, come on! I'm trying! You sure you're doing the dance right? No, I'm not sure. I am confident that I'm not doing it right. What's so funny? Is there rice on my face or something? Dude, just look at the hieroglyphs right next to you. There's nothing I can do. Look at this! What am I supposed to do? Learn the also hey dance parts. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to look at all of these just to know it. God damn you, game. Fine. Uh, is that the right one? Is that the right one? I just clicked on the random button. Please don't ask me to click on another button. Holy shit. Oh my god, thank you, Salsa. I actually did not want you to get electrocuted again. I I, I just really did not know what I was supposed to do here. Oh, well done. Alright, here's a reward. Excuse me? What the fuck? What was that for? I actually did it, you asshole. Ah, oh, the nerve of people. Alright, what do we have over here? We have a bunch of weird ass looking things. Is that a ghost frog? I'm not a ghost, I'm a frog. Save your game? You're a ghost frog, my G. You literally just appeared right in front of me. Alright. Where are we? I can't even, I can't even access my map. Oh, would you look at that present? A Pisces bracelet, but you can't carry any more stuff. Ark. Uh, you said Pisces bracelet, right? All right. I'm entrusting you 
Pisces bracelet. Yes, sir. Plus seven. What? What is that? Little big bro. What's so little about him? Uh, what's in the door? Can I go through here? It appears to be locked from the other side. God damn it. Alright, there's more little big bro over there. Beef jerky, I'll... Shit, I wanted to get him. I wanted to get him from behind, but I guess I can't. I'll get it later. Don't worry. Ancient banana. Um, I don't know if that will be useful for me, to be completely honest. This is the basement of Osohei, eh? Oh, this must be when me. This must be when we were all in the in the water, huh? What's this level lever for? Not level. What the fuck? Hey, pull this lever. Ah, to hell with you. Yep, there goes all the water. Oh, there goes Wes and Kumatura. Oh! It's them! They fled into the waterway! What? They escaped with the item? After them! After them! What are you waiting for? Go after them! No, wait. They're inside. Go to them. Is what I said. Contact me the instant you find them. Bah! There's not a single useful person in here. Let's return to the Yato Inn for now. Well, at least they escaped, I guess. That's what really matters, is it not? Question is now, what the fuck is in this door? That's what I want to know. Oh my god, what the hell happened here? What are you doing? One of you to get out of my way. Hey, you heard Mr. Facade. Fall back! He was looking at you when he said it. You fall back! Shut up! I don't give a damn about any of that. Both of you get out of my way now. Okay. Just look how late it is now. You're so stupid. It's all your fault, you idiot. He was looking at you when he said that. So you're the idiot, you idiot. I know you are, but what am I? You idiot! Both of you idiots, go find them now! Jesus Christ. Assad must be fuming right now. Oh, well, what do we have here? Besides, I bet you were the one who let Duster get away in the first place. I have done no such thing, nor would I have any need to. Sir, old man West Kumatora and Flynn. Yes, sir, Boney. My goodness. I simply cannot believe that someone would steal the money I so humbly gave you. Perhaps it's true then. Perhaps this village really is starting to become cursed. We can't allow Tazmilly Village to become a, a dismal hive for evildoers to run amok. What are you trying to say? We must all seek happiness, or this village will be in grave danger. Man, what a prick! Still trying to advertise this bullshit to these people. Oh, what's this? Are you finding a nice lady there? Come now. I'll give you lots and lots of luxury bananas later, so let us return to the Yado Inn. Okay, little salsa? Are you kidding me? You saw what happened, right? Please don't tell me you, you just ignore that, Kumatora. Come on! I'm not- I didn't even do anything wrong. A stupid monkey. It seems you still don't understand the situation you're in. What did I do wrong? If you ever disobey me or try any funny business in the slightest, I'll make sure your beloved girly monkey winds up in some serious show. Dog, I, dog, I, I was literally just looking at Kumatora. That was it. 
as a monkey, I was just looking. You make it sound like I committed a crime or something. Remember that. Now go to sleep. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. The shit that I have to deal with you. Come on, Salsa. Wait, what is he doing? Is he, is he trying to break out of this collar or something? Or telepathy. Ooh, that would be cool. Wait a minute. Could that have actually been what Salsa was doing with Kumatora? A bit of telepathy? Hey! Hey, monkey! Oh! 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 I hear people! I hear Kumatora! Is she, is she here to help me? Hello? Ugh. Fuck! God damn it! You're kidding me! He turned over in his sleep. I can see that. God damn it! What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> can I? Am I just supposed to like turn him over or something like that? Ugh. You're joking me. You're actually joking me. What am I supposed to do here? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh! <laughs> They're in the window! Hey, monkey! We're here to rescue you! That cheap bastard's asleep! Hurry here! Come on, Salsa, come on! Yes, sir! Yes, sir, my boy Salsa! You're safe now. Don't know how you got involved with that lie spewing fraud, but you must have had your reasons, I guess. Poor little thing. Princess, this is a great deed you've done. Now let's go find that lazy moron, I mean, Duster, and that egg he has with him. I know he's alright. Morons like him never get sick or hurt, no matter where they go or what they do. Yeah, we just gotta find Duster and the egg. But first, let's free this monkey. Oh my god, you guys are lifesavers! Thank you very much! Geezer, go steal that zapper gizmo while that lying freak's still asleep. Alright. Should've swiped it earlier. I'll be right back. Maybe it's not so bad to be a thief. You'll be free in a minute, monkey. You must have had it rough. Ow! You could have maybe swiped that without pressing on the button. Hey monkey, I stole the doohickey. I accidentally bumped it bumped it on the way back. Did it zap you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, the thing the thing about this now is that even even if we even if we fucking destroy it. What about what about Salsa's girlfriend? What about the girly monkey? Ah, oh, this is this is the dilemma. Here, monkey. You destroy it. <laughs> My man was waiting for years to do that. Even though it's only been days. Alright, what now? Alright, monkey. You can go wherever you want now. You're free. He's thinking about the dilemma. I'm, t I'm telling you. He he's got his girl that he has to keep track of. You got something keeping you from running away. What is it? It has to be telepathy. I'm telling you. Oh, your girlfriend's been kidnapped. Or monkey napped, I should say. Damn, that cheap bastard. He screwed up. Oh, did you call for me? I happen to be that screwed up cheap bastard you speak of. To think I would get to meet you here, of all places, Princess Kumatora. <laughs> you stupid monkey. Do you think you could get away from me? He can! And we're gonna let him. Geezer, monkey, you ready? One, two, three! Oh, I thought we were gonna fight him. Is when we run. Got it? <laughs> I don't think we got the memo. Fuck. Damn. They're fast. 
Yeet! After them! Don't let them escape! They're headed your way. I see. Then remain there on standby. I'll be there shortly. And fuck you and your luxury banana. <laughs> There's no escape for me. <laughs> Damn, cheap bastard. No kidding. Let's escape into the forest. Ah, uh, let's go. Both Kumator and West join my party. Let's go. Oh, and would you look at that? I still have all my items. That's Pog. Let's go, baby. There's no response to our shouting. That doesn't leave us with many options. Oh, come on, Isaac. Get your face out of the stupid damn pork looking monitor and help me out here. Come on. I hear tanks. That doesn't sound good. Ooh, what is this tanker doing here? Damn, they already got ahead of us. Monkey, let's look for another way to go. Aw, oh, fucking tankers. Shite. That only leaves me to go all the way to Lighter's old shack. God forbid. Oh, no. Damn, no luck here either. Is our only choice to go back now? Just before you know it. Yep, they're already back. They're back. Shite. This is bad. This is super bad. We're surrounded. It's attacking! Oh shit. A pork tank. I have to deal with these porky ass motherfuckers now. Alright, you know what? Eat running bomb! Uh, PK Fire, PK Freeze, PK Thunder. I think a PK Thunder would be really fine right now. Alright. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. That, that, that don't look good, Chief. That don't look good. Eat, uh, Ancient Banana. <laughs> Wait a minute, what would be better? Fire Freeze. Let's try Fire. Let's go! <laughs> How did this thing slip up? Holy shit. That did not do anything. Ow, 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 ow. Kumatora desperately needs help right now. What about freeze? How, how, how does freeze hold up? It doesn't hold up at all. Uh, <laughs> thunder again, I guess. Shite. Uh, well, I, I, I just have to get as much beef jerky to Kumatora, I would assume. And PK Thunder! Eat it! Ow. Ow. D -d 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 Please, for the love of God, do not hit me. I am just a poor little monkey. Wait a minute, do I have any... No. Oh, I have the Thunder Bomb. Eat Thunder Bomb! How much does this do? Not as much as PSI uh, as PK Thunder, but whatever. Ow, ow! Uh, eat it! Why did you have to smash attack the poor monkey? The monkey just wants to live! What is wrong with you people? Ow! Damn, I'm, I'm actually about to run out of... I'm actually low-key about to run out of all my healing items for Salsa. I might have to start using the bombs again. Ow. Screw it. Just use the bombs right now. Wait a minute, running bomb or thunder bomb? Thunder bomb, yes sir! Come on, Kumatora. We need to beat these tankers up. Yes, sir! <laughs> Fried pork here. Wait a minute, we're not done yet? But it jammed. 
Uh, screw it. Just keep throwing shit at him. Why isn't he gone? Come on now. Die? Ouch. That... That didn't hurt as much as when you were in the tanker, but... Still, though. Ouch. I am running out of items. <laughs> I'm actually running out of items. Ancient banana for the win! How is this thing still not dead? What the fuck? I'm like... Completely out of it. <laughs> completely out of items here. I'll just give it to Kumatora since I know she's gonna be more useful than Salsa. Sorry Salsa, but that's the thing. It didn't hit anyone. Fuck. Ouch. Uh, apologize, make laugh. Make laugh. You, keep thundering. It didn't wreck shite. How is this thing still not dead? Uh, apologize? I doubt he's gonna accept my apology. Yep, no, it didn't go through. Oh my god, finally! I'm, I would literally have three PSI points right now. Yeah, look at that. But look at all that XP! Holy shit! That's a lot of XP, baby! That's what I like to see! And now what? Now what? <laughs> now what? Square up! Oh shit, don't tell me there are more tankers. No, it's facade instead. Shite! And there's even more tankers! Come on! I'm doomed, aren't I? Now then, Princess Kumatora, may I ask that you behave and do as we say? Fuck. Lucas! Who are you? Get out of here, you stupid kid! Get lost! Oh no! Lucas? <laughs> Lucas! You got the Dragos! Oh my pork! What is a baby Draco doing here? You, baby Draco, get out of here! We're not committing genocide or, or any sort of violent things like that. Please, no. Oh, he's gonna bring in his. He's gonna bring in Mama Draco, isn't he? Yes, sir! <laughs> Mecha Draco! <laughs> Lucas, where's Mecha Drago? Oh, we're not even going with Mecha Drago. We're just going full on natural Drago. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lucas, I'm so glad you're finally here. Yes, sir. It's Drago time. He's Dragoing all over. I'm so happy you're back here, Lucas. This is what I'm saying. You can't, you, you can't underestimate my boy, Lucas. Can we stop clowning on him for a while? <laughs> yes, sir. Holy shit! Come on, come on, beat the shit out of facade. Come on now. <laughs> Park Army is like, screw it. I'm about. <laughs> This man really left his tank. <laughs> hey! Get back here, you! No. Stop! Stop! Don't! Please! <laughs> Feeling better now, monkey? Oh, shit. What, could he already communicate with the Dragos? Whoa! <laughs> Where is Facade now? Oh my god, Lucas. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you could have not come at a better time. I'm assuming these Dragos already know that these pork fiends are responsible for Mecha Drago. Lucas, 
I heard you've done nothing but cry since the day your mother passed away. Yeah, you know, I've heard you've been nothing but a little bitch recently. <laughs> but what you did now, just now, was wonderful. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. All right, gotta say hi. Hi, nice to meet you. And thanks. He didn't even know what was going on, but you saved our lives. It's probably a little late for him now, but you should ask this geezer about what's going on. Ah, uh, wait, what's up? Sure, I can fill you in on everything. Will you listen, Lucas? Yes, of course. Well, it goes like this. What's wrong? Oh, what, just a cutscene? And that's everything that's happened. Really? I thought we were going to get like a huge ass story coming through, but no. <laughs> no, Lucas. You stay here in Tazmeli. I'm certain Klaus will come back sooner or later. Uh, he doesn't know about Klaus, does he? Fuck. I'd like you and Flint and the others to work together to protect our village. Oh, and I intend to help too, of course. What little I can, at least. Princess, I leave the monkey in your hands. Oh, and to search for that moron too. Lucas, don't know why, but I somehow get the feeling I'll be seeing you again. I mean, you, you have to. I, I'm the main protagonist. I'm Lucas, am I not? Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey, let's go. Yes, sir. What now? Tazmili Village is now transforming exactly how the newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realize that things that were good and right are being tossed away one after the other. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows ever stronger. Soon, Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. The once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. Sun as in both sun as in the son of Flit and Hanawa and sun as in I'm assuming like just a bright intelligent whatnot. Right? Right. Right! Right? Whatever. I'm assuming that's the end of chapter 3? Yeah, that looks like the end. Ah, redemption at last. Anyways, my name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Memento Mori and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody. And my boy Lucas, he's finally back, baby! Let's fucking go!